Well, the search for gas continues in central North Carolina. This comes a day after the Colonial Pipeline is back up and running after that cyber attack. Yeah, it's not easy to find it. We have extensive team coverage for you on how soon that gas shortage uh, will end and how long it's going to last. But first, let's go to CBS 17's Bridget Chapman. She joins us live after finding out what the stations look like today. Bridget. Yeah, Rod, for the most part, you're still going to see this bags over the pumps here at the gas station showing they do not have any gas. But we did find some stations today that had it, and we talked to people about their search for that fuel. Employees clean down gas pumps as they said there's nothing else to do with them right now. Hi, I was just trying to see if you know when you'll have gas again. Various gas stations told me they didn't know when their pumps would be back in use. Do you know when you're going to have gas again? Drivers pulled into stations to double check. I'm looking to fill it up. It's really no gas, like it's none. We drove to 14 different gas stations along Glenwood Avenue from Raleigh to Durham, mainly coming across lights out and bags on. I drive for Lyft, so I I'm always looking for gas. Ray Lynch happened to get lucky finding a spot that had it. He said he didn't work yesterday out of fear of getting stuck in long lines. So when he saw it today, I was like, I'll pull right over. <laughs> Other drivers had to put in more effort. This is my fourth spot. I don't went to four or five gas stations today. People are fighting over gas. It's just ridiculous. They just got to get it together. <laughs> Asking others to be patient and to stop hoarding, as this will be over soon. Uh, I, I can't even look at them because this is ridiculous. Yeah, it's, if we don't have a shortage, it's just finding it is the issue. It's people that have jobs then you go to work, and y'all taking all the gas. How is that going to help us? Experts say if you have it, try to conserve. My tank is on full, so I just got to preserve. Not try not to go too many places. Right now, I'm going to go home and chill out for the rest of the day. Always good to chill out for the rest of the day. Now, we're at the sheets on Glenwood, and since we've just been here in the past few minutes, it was completely empty, and then this tanker pulled in here, and I will tell you, cars swarmed into this parking lot. So there are a lot of people here who saw this tanker come in and are curious. They want to know if they're going to be able to fill up soon. We're going to uh, hang out here and give you the latest updates at 6 o'clock. Reporting live in Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News. All right, Bridget, I can understand that. I wasn't looking around myself today, but uh, I'm, I'm good. got a quarter of a tank, so I'll hang on for a little while longer.